Hello, Jonathan here, Prince of the Interwebs, and I am awake. Yeah, I'm gonna make some watermelon now. Like, not actually make some watermelon, but cut up some. Ooh, yeah, watermelon, melons of water. Bunny's misbehaving. Your bunny is misbehaving. <laughs> Well, yeah, he, he's getting really desperate. Oh, no, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> this vlog is going to be all bunny. Yep. All bunny. Okay, maybe not all bunny. Maybe just a little bit bunny. Are you going to wash your face? You're doing that thing like you do before you wash your face. Huh? Are you going to wash your face? The problem with this bunny is that it's just going to stay there and not do anything. It's not going to walk around when the entire point of it being out of its cage is for it to exercise. So, one strategy involves moving the carpet under its feet. Just a little bit. But remember he sleeps during the day because he's nocturnal, which come out of that. Yeah, we but... shouldn't take him out of it, we shake him out at night. But... but yeah, no, he does sit a lot, but I'm just saying, and we should, because he, he sleeps during the day usually. He also doesn't get enough exercise. That's true. But we don't want to screw up the schedule, but I do need to get him breathed up after sure. Yeah, have to. There you go, Bunny. Actually walking around. So I'm back home now, um, playing Minecraft, relaxing. Um, and it's occurred to me that you can do some stuff on Instagram to get a bunch more followers that um, I had not been doing before. And I realize you can do now. So what you can do, you can like delete a whole bunch of tags that you put on it before, like what you can do, you can just do this for your best pictures. You just put some great tags, whatever, wait a couple hours, then delete those tags, and then put them back on again as a comment. And um, basically, your Instagram photo will surface to the top of the tags, and um, yeah, we'll rank the highest in search. Sneaky, but it works. Ooh, I'm awake. That's cool. Commenting on comments time is happening now. Rihanna, you could um, set up your uh, email thing. You add an alternate email address, and then you just go in and say you forgot your password, and it's going to send a new password to that other email address. And no, I haven't seen the Tabescus rant on passwords. Probably is funny. There's a lot to rant about. Um, oh, there's no, there's actually no difference in calories between white sugar and brown sugar. Uh, that being said, brown sugar is better for you because it's a more complex carb. So basically carbohydrates have the exact same number of, of calories. So, uh, fats have the same number of calories and um, proteins have the same number of calories. Carbohydrates and proteins actually both have four calories per gram and um, fats, on the other hand, have nine. Um, so it's really, it's, it's fats that you should be avoiding of all things. But the thing with carbohydrates is that, like, let's say you have simple carbs, they get broken down really quickly and they get, like, processed really quickly. And the problem is that you're not using that energy, it's transformed into fat. So if you have complex sugars, they'll break down much more slowly and they'll be used as they're being broken down so they don't have a chance to be turned into fat. So that's where the difference lies. And brown sugar is slightly more complex than white sugar. Similarly, if you have like cane sugar, that's even more complex. Or um, stevia, on the other hand, it's a little different in that it's an alcohol sugar that isn't actually processed by your body. Um, even though alcohol sugars sometimes have up to like seven calories per gram. Um, but this particular one, your body, your body just doesn't process it at all. Um, because you don't have enzymes to do that. So what happens is that it's still sweet because it's a sugar alcohol. But it's just a particular kind that your body can't do anything with. So it just goes in and right back out. On a related note, if you are a diabetic or you experience symptoms of being a diabetic, you should probably go for more complex carbohydrates because it won't spike up your sugar levels and screw up your body. Um, 
it's the same with like flour and stuff. If you go for white flour, it's more simple. If you go for like whole grain, that's more complex. Uh, if you go for like oats, that's more complex. Um, yeah. It, usually huskier, more raw things have more complex carbs, usually. I just downloaded an app on my phone. It's called the I Can't Wake Up Alarm. And it's great because you can set it up with a barcode scanner. Now you might be thinking, why would I want to do that? Why is this significant, huh? Why should I care? Well, um, well, this means that you can set up a barcode, print it out, and you'd put this like anywhere in your house or apartment. So basically, this alarm will not turn off until you get up and scan this barcode, no matter where you put it. So you can put several barcodes all around your apartment that would be ideal. So you put one like at one end and then another at the other end and then you have to like run around and by that time you're, you're already awake. So that's cool. So that's it for today. I am now going to edit this and then make my way to Saint Laurent. Wow, what? What are you doing in Saint Laurent? Oh, that, that's gonna be an adventure. Tomorrow's vlog though. Anyway, bye.